Okay, so before we conclude our discrete random variables, let's go over one more type of distribution. So we've got our discrete random variables, and this time we're going to go over the Poisson. Okay, so similar to the um, binomial distribution, we're looking at number of successes. Uh, the one like major difference between Poisson and the uh, Oh, binomial distribution is that there is not a fixed number of trials. All that we really need is basically the average number of successes over a set period of time. So for example, let's say that oh, we'll say 20 people, 20 people show up to your coffee shop per hour. Okay, so this would be our, well we call this guy um, in the Poisson, this is our mu, and our mu is also equal to lambda. So this is, it's the mean number of successes. So, and one interesting thing about the Poisson distribution is that, so the expected value of x actually equals the variance of x. So if you know what mu is, you know then what sigma is. It's kind of handy, it's pretty straightforward. Um, but in order to solve our uh, PMF, we need a somewhat complicated equation, uh, but it's super easy when we use it in Excel. So once again, our PMF is going to be the probability that the discrete random variable equals a specific member of your support. And then this guy is going to equal, here we go. So it's E to the negative lambda. And then we're going to multiply that by lambda to the specific member of the support. And we're going to divide by the support value factorial. Okay, so if you don't remember what E is, it's a, it's a constant, just kind of like pi is. Uh, you can look it up or punch it into your calculator if you want to know what it is. It's like 2 point, what is it, 7, 1, 8, et cetera, et cetera. Anyhow, so what this allows us to do is, okay, let's say we, on average, 20 people per hour show up to our coffee shop. So we can now set up, I want to know what's the probability that we have you know, at least 20 people or 20 or more people. Well, what we can do per hour, we can say, you know, our member of our support, we can go zero, one, two, three, and we can continue on and on. So in the Poisson example, like it actually goes on for forever. Um, this is our uh, PDF or probability mass function, sorry, PMF. And just for each member of the support, we can plug this equation in and it'll give us an associated probability. So is there a probability that nobody comes to the coffee shop this hour? Yeah, it's pretty small. And then we can go one, two, three, all the way to 20. We could ask what's the probability that 60 people are gonna show up. Small, but the probability does exist. And we'll dive into more of this, into how exactly the Poisson distribution works in Excel, because we're going to use both Excel and R Commander to help us understand, or to, to basically use the software tools to do the heavy lifting of the calculations.